Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I've been MIA, I've been missing for some time now, and I feel like I owe it to you guys to tell y'all where I've been and whatnot. So I'm gonna be talking and kind of giving y'all like the background and like the backstory while I'm doing my makeup today. And it's gonna be difficult because this, what I did here, it's kind of, it's kind of a task, but I think it's a task that we all can handle together. So, if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, so, I know I've been gone for a while, like I've been ghost, and, <clears throat> and I have some explaining to do. So look, because of the winter season, you know, all the weather changing and everything else going on. I'm breaking out a lot. Like I've been breaking out like so much and I think my skin doesn't go well with fall and winter because the same time last year it happened. Now I have acne, but this is over the top. Like I get very bad breakouts and I feel like that's what's happening now. So I just had to take a break from makeup and get my face back to where it's supposed to be, okay? And you can still see a lot of different, you know, breakouts and different things like that. But trust, honey, it was way worse. It was it was very bad. The good news is I'm back and um we gonna have some more bonding. We going we gonna talk more. All right, I'm gonna be around more, okay? And with that being said, we just gonna start because I feel like I was talking a lot and y'all came for the makeup. So let's get on with the makeup. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my lips and I've already washed my face and moisturized that, but I always moisturize my lips. Do this because I want my lips to be very juicy and soft for when I put the lipstick on because if your lips are dry and cracked and then you go in to try to put on lipstick, it's not gonna look the best. You're, you're not gonna be happy with the results. So to get the best out of it, Moisturize them lips, girl. Now to save time, I'm gonna do my brows, but y'all know I always do my eyebrows off camera, but if you wanna see an eyebrow tutorial and you wanna know how you do your brows too, then I will link my eyebrow tutorial in the description box, so go down there, go down there, sis. So now after doing my brows, I'm gonna go in with highlight and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone, of course, same thing. Um. Let's have a talk, okay, because I miss you guys. I really do. And I've had my friends, all oh, y'all, y'all keep messaging me, where you at, where you at, where you at? Um, I'm trying to deal with my face, and I'm going through a crisis right now because I don't know how to cope with breaking out so much. I already have acne as it is and then the winter comes and it gets way worse and I, I don't want to put makeup on it because I feel like I'm gonna break out any even more and I'm kind of like infecting the open scars and wounds of my face of my acne and I don't want to do that so I took a break you know two week little break and I'm gonna start back uploading weekly because I feel like that's what we agreed on. We agreed on a weekly update. And I really don't know why, but my skin is very glowy right now. I didn't do anything but do my, I did my normal routine and it's really glowing besides all the acne scars and everything. So after I do that, it's time to get into the eye look, okay? That awesome little eye look. Y'all saw the thumbnail and this is one of my more difficult kind of looks because I'm kind of doing like a half cut crease, you know, and that that's where my difficulties are, you know. I don't really do that often, so it's kind of difficult, but I practice. And the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to prime my lids. I'm just going to use a concealer, and this is the color Fawn. Right here, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm gonna put that all over my lid because it's gonna help the shadows pay off more considering I'm a dark skin. 
peachy shade right here in this palette. And this is just a palette that I got from Wish a while back, like a very long time ago. Um, I don't know the name of it. It's not really a name brand. I just think the color is pretty. I'm going to put that all over my lid as a transition color. how the shade just kind of warmed my face up for the camera now I look warmer than I did before I kind of looked washed out before but it's okay and this is a fall look I know it's kind of looking like summer right now but we gonna we gonna get into the fall in just a second okay don't get don't get you know discouraged and I know I always use the subculture palette and that's simply because that's the kind of the only very good palette that I'm working with right now. I know I, I, I need to go get more, but my pockets aren't there right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the subculture palette and I'm going to use the color All Star and it is the pink shade in the palette and I'm going to put that right under where I put this color and it's gonna be like it's getting a little warm now so I'm gonna add this under it you know now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna go into the color fudge and it's the brown color and I'm gonna put that in my crease debating on whether I should do lashes with this look or not because I really don't know so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start carving and this is the hard part okay and I'm gonna take this side of this brush this Anastasia brush because I can't find my other flat brush and I'm gonna just carve it out with that and I'm going to use fawn because this is very light and it's going to help with the glitter kind of shade I'm putting on my lid. Like that, for example. And I'm gonna leave this like that. And I'm gonna work on the other eye while that dries. So now I'm going to go in with a shimmer kind of liquid eyeshadow and this is from the beauty salon I've used this before on this channel so it's kind of like it kind of cracks up it really does but there's you can work with it it's not too so now I'm gonna basically just put this everywhere that I put concealer And I know it's kind of like not even, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be like to a T because your eyes are not made to a T anyway. Um, and we're just gonna let this dry. So now that this is dry, I'm gonna go and start blending in the reds and different things onto the lid. And I'm gonna go in with fudge and I'm gonna just kind of blend the edges of fudge in just because it's there um, and I'm patting this on because this sh this liquid shadow is kind of like if you blend it it's, it's gonna get you know it's kind of gonna mess up and we don't want that we do not want that so we're just going to we're just going to like pat the shadow on there. It's time for the red, okay? Um, to do the red, I'm using the Ben Nye ugh, Master Bruise FX Wheel, and it's kind of like a like 
effects makeup, you know, for bruises and stuff, but the red in here was just like perfect. I don't have to blend it on to this shadow right here. And that's what we're trying to avoid anyway. I'm now gonna add some eyeliner because I feel like that's what necessary for this look. So I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. And I know, like, I know this is a lot, but we are a lot. We're extra over here. This is what we do. We do extra. We go beyond, you know? Now I'm about to apply lashes. So now that that's done, I'm going to move on and I'm gonna start on my face. And the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with the Angelville Primer right here. Now I'm gonna apply foundation and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation, color 440. And I use one pump at a time because this is a very true, fast drying foundation. So I'm just putting a pump at a time on my hand and doing this like so. And now after putting on foundation, I'm gonna go in with concealer, of course, and that's always what I do. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. And I'm gonna put that on my highlighted areas, of course, always. And now I'm gonna blend all this out, of course. So now what I'm gonna do is set my highlighted areas with the Maybelline Fit Me um, loose finishing powder in the color deep, which is 35. So now what I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna get the color All Star, and I'm gonna put that on the bottom and just blend it out. I'm gonna add mascara, but I'm gonna do that after I finish my face. Now I'm going to go in with bronzer, and I'm using the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the color Black Coffee. The Amazing Cosmetics Berry Bliss blush. I'm gonna use that, you know, just a blush. Right now I'm gonna add a highlight. to work on the lips. First things first is removing this lip gloss from my lips because we're now about to apply the actual lipstick. I'm going to go in with this um, lip pencil um, by Jordana and it's the color Cabernet. I always use this lip, lip pencil. Okay, and I'm just gonna line my lips. Now I'm going to go in with an actual red lipstick. And this is the Matte Ink Superstay Lipstick by Maybelline. And I'm going to put that in the middle of the lip liner. And I'll be back on camera for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know saying? Alright, so if you got this far in the video, that means that you completed the look. You look somewhat like this. And if you don't, then keep me watching that video and you can learn with me. It's a process. Practice makes perfect. And that's how I got where I am today. If I can't upload every week, it's a real reason why. I just thank you guys for staying with me and coming back to my videos. I love you so much. Thanks for your support. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. I love you so much. Thank you. Stay blessed, not pressed.